But today, they have nowhere to look but in the mirror. Just a big mistake by Alex early on. And then the program, as you talked about, just uh, dragged after that. Mm -hmm. But they are so young, plenty of time, and the work ethic to take them literally anywhere they want. And you can see because of that big error and Alex trying to make the best of it as he can. The free dance good for only 82.37, and that will move them. Currently into third place, so a disappointing world championships for Maya and Alex Shibutani. And as we step aside once again, the final group getting ready to take the ice. We now offer after the short dance. And a couple that everyone is anticipating here at the Palais d'Exposition. The French team of Natalie Pechelade and Fabien Borzat, third after the short dance, 3.18 points behind Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, the European champions, and dressed for the occasion. <laughs> you can hear the crowd responding. These two have been around for quite a long time, and the French fans feel very connected to them and especially want to offer their support, knowing that Natalie is suffering from a broken nose that she just had happened to her in a training incident two weeks prior to these world championships, so any support that they can take is much appreciated. Merle Davis and Charlie White. Charlie with the tuxedo there in the middle of the screen momentarily. Elena Ilyanik and Nikita Kapsalopov from Russia. And it's a surprise that this is the Russian team in the final warm-up group. Abrova and Soloviev, who we saw in the last warm-up, were the ones everyone anticipated to lead the Russian ice dance troupe. And yet, with their struggles in the short dance, it was left to Elena and Nikita to pick up the slack. And they did that and more, landing themselves in this coveted final warm-up group. And we're seeing them in the order in which they will skate in the last group. Merrill Davis and Charlie White will go first. And their main rivals will be the Canadians, the reigning Olympic champions, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer. And these two just had such a standout performance in the short dance and something that we haven't seen from them all season long, hoping to carry through that momentum. Their lead, 1.33 points over the Americans, Merrill Davis and Charlie White, who will be up first in this final group, the medal positions to be determined live. Meryl Davis, Charlie and the United White. States team and defending world champions Meryl Davis and Charlie White coming out on the ice and they will go first among the last group of five couples how significant or how important is the order of skate it really depends on the couple thankfully Meryl and Charlie are actually one of the few who don't mind going first they'd rather just amp themselves up and get it rolling actually the second free dance they choreographed for this season. The first was not well received in initial meetings with U.S. figure skating and they decided to change it. And their coach Marina Zueva said it's not hard to choose programs for them because they are athletic and better suited for powerful, passionate programs. She chose well in this one for certain.
program talk about athleticism put on display right there an impressive rotational lift Very nice twizzle sequence. Of course, the specialist look on the replay. Make sure the foot was grabbed in time on that first twizzle. Comparing apples and oranges when looking at these two compared to Virtue and Moyer. It's going to come down to the technical elements. They have to have all level fours. step sequence it's about cleanliness it's about every single edge and step being perfectly placed on each edge they need perfection performance under so much pressure that's what's so remarkable about all of this their training has been spot on all season long they are so well prepared but to deliver when this amount of pressure is on the defending champions have done all that they can now it's up to the judges yes and absolutely. they thought they had skated their best short dance Did just yesterday only to be downgraded on a couple of occasions that's they were why they were second behind the Canadian team going into the free dance. So now they will just wait what will seem like an eternity for their scores. And as we mentioned, there is no American judge on the panel, so no additional love coming their way from all of the other judges. They have to skate their hearts out, which they did, and prove to everyone, regardless of their loyalties, we are the best. Igor Spielbond and Marina Zueva. They're very well-known and busy coaches. And this program has just been so perfectly choreographed for them this year. It shows off their strengths in the lifts, but also in the transitions. Merrill just absolutely effervescent, I should say, in the quality of all of her quick turns. And Charlie, of course, seemingly using a lot of his um, hockey background, moving those feet so quickly and covering so much ice. Power, elegance, and speed and yes such a great package and here we take a look at this twizzle possible Merrill was a little bit late grabbing her foot there the specialist will certainly take a look at that you have to have obtained your difficult position within the first half a rotation of that twizzle so not a lot of time certainly receive credit for all of those difficult lifts and difficult entries so well woven into the program and no hesitation in or out of either well Davis and White will certainly take over the lead they were second after the short dance but the numbers the number is what matters and have they done enough the free dance, 107.64. You can see uh, almost five points below their season best, and they will be in first place for a bit of time. And the random draw, the final five couples, they went first. Virtue and Moyer will go last. 
Peshalat and Borzat currently in third place after the short dance. We'll go third and next up from Canada, Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget. Number two Canadian team and fifth at the last World Championships. They had such a great start with that short dance, not holding anything back. And expecting the same from this free dance, which has just been so well received all season long. Very emotional. And they've really grown with it in these last few events where the emotion doesn't feel forced or phony. It's just very believable, very organic, and quite moving when done on point. Highlighting their body lines, their extension, and allowing it just to breathe and grow at a pace that we can catch on to. It's really quite something. It's not a coincidence that these lyrics are in French. It was actually something they took into consideration when choosing their free program music this year, knowing the world championships would land them in France and wanting something the audience could understand. Their free dance is to Je suis malade. Just a stunning, effortless entrance into that rotational lift. I think it's easy for even a non-figure skating fanatic to see why these couples are in this final group. The quality that they exhibit is just above and beyond. Oh, spot on unison in these twizzles. Very nicely done. 